Hi everybody, Simon here. So today a little bit different. Uh, hopefully this will work. I'm trying to do a bit of picture in picture and getting smart. Um, this is the Bangkok Chronicles. I'm just doing a, a map edition just to go through the map um, with everyone. Now the series is finished. So hopefully on your screen you can see my Bangkok map. Now I created this in I think it's mymaps.google which is quite good unfortunately it doesn't have satellite imagery or street view on the my maps but if you see this you'll find this map on my website landofsmilesthailand.com um, it's now on the front page of my website so it's easy to find and over here on the left I've listed the different markets and the different places I got the bits and pieces from um, so this is the center of Bangkok I'm actually going to go in a little bit this area over here on the right is that's Soy Cowboy and that's Nana Plaza the entertainment zones up on Sukhumvit Road and up here we have um, Prasanam Market and that's the condo my condo was there and below here, this is the center of Bangkok. So this is the shopping center, Mall Bacong, uh, Siam Square, Params. Uh, I can never remember, never remember the name of that place. But anyway, they got the Sea Life Center in there and all that. Um, and then over here is Chinatown. What's that one? Can't remember. <laughs> if I come out of touch and just go north, that is the Chatter Jack Market. <clears throat> that's, I'd say that's the largest market in Bangkok. That's the one where all the coaches go with all the tourists. It is a huge market, absolutely huge. You could spend days there, no problem at all. Um, so, let's just hopefully this is zooming in reasonably for you, like too jerky. So you can see my condo was here. Most days, me and Mem were traveling across to Chinatown. Uh, some would say why didn't we get a condo over there they're quite expensive over that side condos where we were was perfect um, for everything really in Pratanam so let's just have a quick look at Pratanam today in 2017 this area is growing if you can see the right point of this road here is the Petchabri Road this is the junction we used to catch the boat just here the shooters along the canals, the Klongs. We had a big sea shopping centre here and the Sea Tan um, shopping centre. So, yep, yeah, we didn't have far to go to get across to a boat or come back on the boat. But Pratton, that is growing now. More and more, less of the street markets, more shopping malls with sort of five, six, seven, eight floors full of little shopping areas inside. But that is where you're going to find all your clothes. And we've got the centre uh, here, the shopping centre. We come across into Chinatown. And you'll know from all the, bon <laughs> all the Bangkok Chronicle series I've done, uh, it all revolves around this main centre road. Um, in fact, this road, <laughs> which is the Yawarat Road uh, of Chinatown. And I've listed all the different areas, what they are. Um, this is the handbag area, purses, handbags still. Down the back were hats and leather goods, um, sunglass section. Up here was all sorts of earrings, jewellery, a complete mix of everything in this area. All the way up on the right here was hotels and cafes and restaurants, but hidden inside as I've mentioned, were the um, Chinese watches in the little alleyways um, and knives and martial art bits and pieces. This section was the console, as I called it, um, section for the Sony PlayStation. Just seeing if it matches up over there. There it is. Console game. That was the console and the remote control stuff 
that has since been moved also com tom this area going up here all this has been changed and the stalls and things moved away but they're still there in the alleyways you've just got to find they're in this area still somewhere they've just moved into either shopping malls or alleyways and for the those of you who want the replica watches and things they are definitely still in that area but as i say alleyways this section here was um well again the replica watches in here com tom center um there's just loads of hidden alleyways where they've moved to and market stalls auto parts section this map's annoying because oh, there's so many labels i put on there now um if you click some of them you can actually see you bring up a picture of what that area is so yeah that was the car and motorcycle parts adult dvds that was a very hot market that one here's the big phone section here um and this is where i spent the last six months in bangkok doing most of my business here plus the odd bits around and we come back down to the bottom of chinatown all the main street food the best areas here for street food this was sort of bikes and industrial area you could get compressors and jet wash all these sort of equipment and this was yeah that was an area for the ladies at night all the way down these streets so hopefully that's enough information on that map and it's free for you um, hopefully it's enough information for you to find items that you want what was that oh Bobe market there you go over there that was the night market where a lot of the clothes came into and then went off to Pratanam also down by the river here all the way along more mark flower market and there's loads of places here where the boats are coming in um, they've obviously come into the ports further up but then lots of little boats bring stock down here and offload all the way around here another market over there that was the Klong San market a bit of a mixed market and a lot of the night markets in this area all the way near the river and back over there is Pat Pong so the Pat Pong market night market from 6 in the evening until midnight I believe plus the entertainment zone area very busy at night very good and there we go so I'm glad I managed to do a map for this series and put everything on there for you. Uh, any questions, drop uh, some comments below. But a general Google search with any of these uh, markets will find out times they're running from, when they're open, when they close, and their exact addresses. I can't wait till the next time I get over and I can get myself back into Chinatown. To have a wander around again because i absolutely love it if you're in bangkok you have to visit chinatown and have a wander around these little markets and the alleyways it's a, such a great experience it really is and you can find yourself some really nice presents there so as i said the maps on my website help yourself and while you're on the website have a look around and that really concludes the Bangkok Chronicle series, unless I think of anything else that I've forgotten. Um, I've got a few other series that I need to do. Let's try and tie everything up together for you. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share. The share is quite important, it helps the channel. And uh, click that little like button. If you hit that bell, little bell next to the subscribe, it'll give you a notification next time I upload. To the channel and coming soon there's some <clears throat> an exciting project i'm working on which i will start revealing over the next few weeks thanks for watching see you soon bye bye